All right, guys, it's the time that we've all been waiting for. Resident Evil 4 Remake is upon us. The game is dropping on March 24th, 2023, and we now have reviews for this stellar remake of a classic, one of my favorite GameCube games of all time. The original Resident Evil 4 remade in the RE engine to spectacular results, and we have the scores to back it up. So, on Metacritic, the original Resident Evil on the GameCube scored an incredible 96, one of the highest rated games of all time. And now we have Resident Evil 4 Remake on the PlayStation 5, also on the Xbox Series X, the PlayStation 4, and PC. Now, for the sake of this Metacritic review roundup, we are doing the PS5 version. That seems to be the version that's gotten the most reviews and most reviewers played it on, so we will talk about that. And it has a stunning 94 average on metacritic one of the highest i think probably the highest rated game of this year so far and it might stay that way based on how things are playing out we got to see how final fantasy 16 shakes out got to see how legend of zelda tears of the kingdom shakes out but this is the number one playstation 5 game of course and easily the number one rated game for this year now so far there are 76 scores on metacritic with 74 of them being positive in the green that means it is 75 and up on the score and only two mixed reviews so that is 74 and down and zero negative reviews that's in like the 50s or 40s and below so this is an incredible spread for resident evil 4 and this game should do incredibly well when it drops next week on march 24th or if you're watching it on the same week or later yeah go out there and pick up the game now resident evil 4 the original on the gamecube was one of my favorite games of all time when i picked it up back in early 2005 i knew the game was going to be incredible because the reviews and everyone was talking about how great it was but i was not ready for how spectacular this game is and if you're one of my younger viewers or if you just missed out on the game trust me you want to pick up this game this was a nice true blend one of the first games out there that really gave us that zoomed in third person shooter type of view with some horror vibes but a lot of action mixed in as well it took the resident evil that we all knew and loved most of us and turned it on its head and completely rebooted it into the spectacular fashion that you see going forward with resident evil now they've done a few different things since then but resident evil 4 started it and the game still to this day holds up as one of the best third person shooter survival horror games of all time and now we have it remade here and once again incredible fashion now let's go and go over some of the top reviews the middle reviews and the bottom reviews because there are a ton of 10 out of 10s there are like a lot let me go ahead and count them up for you guys just so you can get an idea as of right now how many 10 out of 10s are there so we have glf on sports 10 out of 10. GG Recon, 10 out of 10. Gaming Trend, 10 out of 10. GameSpot, 10 out of 10. GameSub, 10 out of 10. Gamer.no, 10 out of 10. CQ, 10 out of 10. Attack of the Fanboy, 10 out of 10. Well Played, 10 out of 10. VGC, 10 out of 10. The Six Axis, 10 out of 10. The Mako Reactor, 10 out of 10. Shaq News, 10 out of 10. Push Square, 10 out of 10. IGN, 10 out of 10. PlayStation Lifestyle, 10 out of 10. The Gamer, 10 out of 10. Gaming Bolt, 10 out of 10. VG247, 10 out of 10. Easy Allies, 10 out of 10. Finger Guns, 10 out of 10. Dexterto, 10 out of 10. Player 2, 10 out of 10. Gfinity, 10 out of 10. Let's go and go over to VG247, see what they had to say on their 10 out of 10 score, saying, the continuing string of successful Resident Evil remakes makes me hopeful for the future, too. I've made it very clear over time that I'm not the biggest fan of Resident Evil 5 or 6. However, this remake and seeing all the intricate detail entwined into the remake of this timeless classic without losing its magic has me more open-minded for what's coming next. Goodness gracious, that is a great endorsement. Next up, IGN, 10 out of 10, they had this to say. The Resident Evil 4 remake is the series' most relentless, exciting adventure rebuilt, refined, and realized to the full extent of its enormous potential. Oof. Mwah. Music to my ears with them saying that, once again, Resident Evil 4 on the GameCube is one of my favorite games of all time. It's in, like, my top five. So that's how high I regard Resident Evil 4 very excited for this. Now, next up, VGC, 10 out of 10. Resident Evil 4 is a careful restoration of what remains one of the most compelling action games ever made. The core elements, which make the original such a compulsive hit, all remain, reminding us that sometimes the secret for these big re-releases is knowing where to remake and where to remaster. Fan. 
fantastic. Now let's go ahead and move over to some of the 90s reviews out there. This one is from Game Informer, 9.5 out of 10, and they had this to say. The Resident Evil 4 remake is about everything I could have wanted, but importantly, it doesn't overwrite its predecessor. If anything, this new version reinforces why the original Resident Evil 4 is a game people should still seek out, play, or at least watch and learn about. But as a love letter to one of the greatest games of all time, as a new historical artifact that reinforces why the source material was so landmark in the first place, this new trek through the Spanish countryside is as good as it gets and makes a great game that much better. Mm, once again, fantastic to hear from them. Now, next up, we have another one from COG Connected. They gave it a 9.5 out of 10 and had this to say. There's a captivating and unsettling aura that enshrouds the familiar trek through the claustrophobic European village. Although Resident Evil 4 remains true to its roots with some cringy dialogue, that's a good thing, Capcom alters several elements to improve the overall experience. These range from narrative segments to gameplay mechanics and all of which refine the masterpiece to create the definitive version of the game. Good stuff there as well. Next up, we're going to go to Game Rant. They gave it a 9 out of 10 and had this to say. Even without its extra game modes, the Resident Evil 4 remake is still phenomenal. It offers non-stop visceral combat and clever changes that help it feel both new and familiar at the same time. The fact that the Resident Evil 4 remake is not as content complete as previous iterations of the game hurt it, but what's there is still so good, most will be able to forgive it. So yeah, maybe they don't have everything in there with the Ada stuff and some of the things they added on the PS2 version, what they've added over the years. So that's unfortunate, but it's still incredibly good. Now, next up is from Twinfinite. They gave it a 9 out of 10 and have this to say. Resident Evil 4 Remake is further proof that Capcom knows exactly what made these games so beloved in the first place. And longtime fans will find a lot to love in this brilliant recreation of the 2005 classic. Awesome stuff there as well. Next up, another 9 out of 10 from Games Radar Plus, And they had this to say. Capcom has delivered a great remake of a classic game. One that captures everything that made it so special to begin with. Resident Evil 4 Remake is full of action and variety that's exhilarating now as it ever was. Whoa, great reviews, guys. And there are so many 90s. I think I'm counting like around 30-something to 40 90s. I mean, there is a lot. But let's go ahead and get into some of the lower scores here. It wasn't all 100% and 90s. There are some 80s and even 70s to get into. So WCCF Tech, they gave it an 8.5 out of 10 and had this to say. Resident Evil 4 was the ultimate test for Capcom's remake skills. Unfortunately, they buckled a bit under the pressure. The game suffers from minor mechanical issues and doesn't reinvent or elevate the original material as boldly as some might have hoped it would. That said, Capcom hasn't broken anything either, as this is still a fun, inventive thrill ride that has been brought up to modern technical standards in striking fashion. The new Resident Evil 4 is well worth it for fans of the series. Just keep your hopes slightly in check and you won't be spin kicked by inflated expectations. So, okay, putting a little bit of a deflator on the hype beam there. Okay, I get it. Next up is from Game Watcher. They gave it an 8.5 out of 10 and had this to say. Although Resident Evil 4 is a superb remake, it still exists in the shadow of what made the original so important. However, the parry system stands out as the most welcome change to the largely familiar proceedings. At its core, the game remains the same stupendous spectacle of action horror it always was, but with arguably even higher intensity. So very good there as well. Now next up, we've got a few 70s to go over. This one is from Destructoid. They gave it a 7.5 out of 10 and had this to say. Back in 2005, I liked Resident Evil 4, but I didn't love it. The remake hasn't changed that. Unlike Resident Evil 2 Remake, which was revolutionary, Resident Evil 4's glow up is more of a faithful recreation rather than an overhaul. It changes just enough that if you love the original, I can't guarantee this will leave you unperturbed. Meanwhile, if you didn't like the first iteration, it's not impossible that this will change your mind. The best I can say is that it's an earnest effort at recapturing the magic 
and it's worth checking out. It remains, as it always was, a maddening inconsistent. So yeah, very unfortunate, but remember he's coming off of they didn't like the original Resident Evil 4. Didn't love it, didn't love it at all. See me, I love the original Resident Evil 4, but everybody has their opinions when it comes down to it. Now next up is from Dual Shockers, and kind of surprising to see this from them. They gave it a seven out of 10 and had this to say about the game. Resident Evil 4 Remake asked the bold question of whether you can perfect what many already consider perfection. While fairly competent at the basics, Capcom's latest remake has the least creative energy of its series revivals, leaving you wanting for much more. Now, I'm going to have to disagree with that. Not with his opinion on it, but just basically what he said with the least creative energy of its series revivals. I don't know about Resident Evil 3, man. That one seemed to be pretty rough when it comes to its revivals and some of the other stuff that they've done with some of the other games that Capcom has brought back. But I understand their opinion on that one, but hey, it is what it is on there. Now, next up is from Silicon Era. This is the lowest score between Dual Shockers and Silicon Era. This is a good sign, guys. There is nothing underneath 70. So that's very good. Only two mixed yellow reviews on this so far. So that's a good sign. Silicon Era, 7 out of 10, they had this to say. In an attempt to make Resident Evil 4 with more modern sensibilities, it is left behind what made the original game so great to begin with. What they're talking about there is the tank controls, the super tank controls. Resident Evil 4 actually adopts the newer end controls where you can move and shoot at the same time. You could be aiming and you could be doing different things. It has more mobility. There's a lot of different things that change up the gameplay just per se, how you fight. Now, some of these structures and the things that happen and certain stuff is switched around, but it's still a base game with the exception of that. And that was one of the things that made the original the original when it comes to Resident Evil 4, those crazy tank controls with the third person shooting. And also there are some redefined things with Ashley and other stuff. So I can understand maybe why they don't like some of those aspects, but yeah, very good overall. These scores are phenomenal. I think that having a 94 as easily the best Resident Evil major remake since they started doing these big remakes on the newer end systems. This is by far the best reviewed one. I think also the original Resident Evil on the GameCube that was also very highly rated as well. So they're doing some incredible things here. Now I can't tell you about the other versions. There's not really much reviews. I do know that the PC version seems to be very good as well. There's seven reviews. It's got a 94 as well. So things seem to be going well there. Xbox Series X version has 14 reviews. It has a 93. So that's also good as well ps4 version just doesn't have enough reviews i don't know who got a ps4 copy but somebody gave it a 9 out of 10 if it's the actual ps4 copy of the game so this is good this is fantastic i am excited and ready for this game i am super hyped for it i think that resident evil 4 remake this game has done a phenomenal job from the demo that I've played. These scores are incredible as well. So I'm very much looking forward to playing this myself. And I will be streaming it as well. I do want to talk about that. I have a Twitch page, Twitch TV, Player Essence. If you just type it in on your browser, you'll be able to see it there. I will be streaming Resident Evil 4 next week. So you guys can get ready for that, especially for someone new and you didn't play Resident Evil back in the day. You don't know about it. Maybe this is your time to maybe get into the franchise as i play it. you can check it out yourself there's a demo of course up across the systems so look out for that and of course get ready because this is going to be a wild ride with resident evil 4 i'm loving what i'm seeing here what is the next remake from capcom when it comes to resident evil people are looking for maybe code veronica next after this but i think that this game is going to do gangbusters on release i think ps5 version is going to sell like crazy pc version is going to do good xbox should do good as well so i'm looking forward to seeing exactly how capcom breaks down the sales number and what happens there because resident evil 2 remake did incredibly well too so what are your thoughts on all this, guys? Check out some of my videos where I talked about Resident Evil 4 Remake and other Resident Evil content on the channel here. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll catch you guys for the next video. Peace.